Good afternoon, fellow noobs. Uh, today, I'm going to show how to make calculations inside a nested table in Power Query, uh, particularly if you want to reference a variable from your main table drilling into a nested table. To illustrate this, uh, we have two sets of data here. We have uh, we have your set of orders, and we have a column indicating how many days uh, do we have until, let's say, the delivery or until the SLA is met or until we go over the SLA. The second data we have is the a reference table of the products and the items ha that has to be made for every product. And our problem question is, how many items per day do we need to make for every product uh, so we meet the delivery or so we meet the SLA? Now, to uh, to illustrate this in Power Query, we're going to load them first. So we're going to go here on the Data tab, and then we're going to load them into the Power Query editor. So let's load the orders first. OK, so let's wait for to have it loaded on the Power Query editor. And yep, so we're here. So I'll rename this to the orders, orders. And then this one, I'm just going to load the connection. So we are just bringing it in the Power Query editor, as you can see here. Next, we have to load the products references. And then so we're going to go back to the data tab and then get data from the table and range, which is, which is this one. And then we're going to load it again into the Power Query editor. So, OK, so this is our table. So let's name this our products table. OK, so now we have two tables here. One is for the orders and one for the products. So normally we'd have to look this up first so we'll we have to merge the two tables so i'm going here on merge queries so we're going to merge to select on product and we're going to get the orders and then we're going to select product here as well and then we're going to click ok ok so our situation now is we have the main table here and this is our nested table if you notice here the pencil are these are the orders for the pencils and these are the days until their SLA is met now to get to our to solve our problem statement earlier how so how many items do we need to make per day to meet the SLA for everyone so we have to divide the days and what we have to do is we're gonna enter a nested we have to enter the calculation inside here so I'm gonna add a column add a custom column so let's call this the uh, let's call this the orders 2 okay now we are gonna Enter uh, this formula so let n equals the items, which is this, and then in. So we're gonna add a table inside our nested ta nested table, and our, our table is this one orders. We're gonna select that, and then let's call it the items per day so this is going to be the name of the column that's going to be generated now our formula will be so we want to divide the items over the the days until the SLA so to reference a column so intelligence is not going to pick it up so we have to enter it manually and then that's it so let's see if that comes up okay so let's look at the new table all right so it looks like yeah so it's now divided 
and then we can get the aggregate of it except this one it's count no we have to change the format to a number so inside here we're gonna type type number and then when, when we go back to the aggregate okay so now we can sum the items per day so I'm gonna select that there let's remove this okay so now we have the items per day so we can close this of course you can change the the name so let's call this uh, needed per day so then we can close this do the same worksheet so let's just bring this here oh no okay so you can tidy up this one you know what let's do that let's remove the table that was created earlier and uh, okay I'm gonna remove this and then we're gonna look close and load it again okay so now this solves our question so meaning for every pencil we need to make for the next couple of days until the SLA we need to make at least 10 per day and then for erasers we have to be making 8 per day and then for rulers we need to be making 13 and then 9 for tapes and 28 for paper okay and that's it uh, I hope you find this useful if you have any questions uh, feel free to let us know on the comments below uh, thank you and uh, good night